Hello everybody and welcome to my 89 VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to use the distinct keyword in your SQL queries. So looking at my sales table, I've got this column here and I'm going to want to uh, represent the a list of all the people that have ever made a sale. So in order to do this, I'm not just going to bring through the customer ID field because that's going to give me multiples of each of the uh, customer IDs. So this is where distinct comes in and uh, it will just let us bring through just the names of them. So let's write select and then we put distinct and then our customer ID. And then just normal as normal from our sales table. Uh, and if we go into our code and then press play and then it's going to bring through the list of the customers in this table without duplicating each of the rows. Uh, just to show you what I mean, if I remove this and press play, it's going to bring them through multiple times, uh, which is not what we want. So let's just put that distinct back in. Uh, and it works if we put filters on. So let's say we want to bring through just the 7th of November. So where sale underscore date equals and 7th of November 2013 and press play and it's not going to bring anything through. And that is because I need to use American style dates, so I need to put in uh, 1107 and then press play, and it'll bring through Collins and Omar because, as you can see in our database, they're the only two that made sales on that day, according to my data. Um, I say American format in UK, we use it the opposite way around normally with our dates, I don't know if America use it that way around. Um, I'm not sure what the rest of the world uses. Uh, I'd be quite interested to know. So if you're from a different country, uh, particularly like India or uh, Canada or Philippines, and I've got a lot of viewers from those countries, uh, just let me know because I'm quite interested because uh, I'm a massive nerd. Anyway, <laughs> so that's how you use the distinct. It just lets you bring through uh, a list of people but ignoring through all the duplicates. Um, and that's going to be it for this tutorial, it's just quite a quick one. Um, the distinct comes up sometimes, uh, you usually need to put it into more complicated um, queries, uh, but uh, that's basically how you use it. Uh, in the next tutorial, uh, there's going to be a couple of tutorials on uh, SQL insertion and SQL parameters, just to make your databases a bit more uh, secure from the kind of people hacking into it. So they're quite interesting. So uh, I hope to catch you in those ones. Um, please subscribe to my channel uh, to catch future tutorials. Uh, and so that's it. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thanks for listening.